It is not enough to simply have power. One must display it. You see, real strategy requires cunning. The Royal Court expansion is something we've never done before. There's two major main parts to the expansion. One is the Royal Court itself, the throne room, the scene where you can see yourself surrounded by courtiers and vassals actually ruling, bridging the gap between your character and the map. And the other one is cultures, making the formerly static system dynamic, basing it on acceptance and creating dynamism and emergent cultures in the game. Your throne room is accessed by kings and emperors that are either feudal or clan. The throne room itself is supposed to reflect your achievements. You collect grand court artifacts, maybe employ powerful court positions, and you see it all reflected in the room itself. Cultures are now modular, much like faiths are. They are made up of an ethos, pillars, and traditions. Acceptance and the rework of ethoses, pillars, and traditions is part of the free update that will be shipped alongside the royal court. 